We're seeing an ecosystem change before our very eyes at a pace we cannot even anticipate. You'd never believe this, and it's happening, and I see it every single day when I drive up 108 or Highway 4 or one of these mountain things. I see more and more trees dying before my very eyes. This is not going away. So I just don't want anybody to get complacent and say we're dealing with it. There are not enough resources to deal with this problem. I don't think climate change causes the fire. I think it exacerbates the conditions under which fire propagates. 66 million dead trees and growing. And it will grow until we get a stop on it. That's fuel. Looking at the uh, weather, we have, you know, just record-breaking drought going over five years now. And you combine that with the problematic agent, the bark beetle. Now, this is something that is naturally in the environment. Uh, the, bark, the bark beetles are always present, but you combine it with the conditions of the drought, and you allow this little beetle to become basically a, a swarm. These things are small. We're talking the size of a grain of rice. A healthy tree will just literally eject the bark beetle as it tries to enter by pushing sap and, and pitch to that area and just literally shoving it right out of the tree. But these trees, when they're distressed after four years of extreme drought, it's thirsty, it doesn't have the pitch, can't, do it, can't fight back. Unlike more traditional natural disasters, floods, fires, earthquakes, hurricanes, and tornadoes, what we're experiencing is a slow-moving natural disaster of epic proportions. I'm not politically correct, so I won't be politically correct. First of all, let me point out my, Randy's philosophy on climate change. Climate change has taken place over eons. We had ice ages, so we know climate change took place, okay? So, species that existed during those cold periods either adapted in situ or they migrated to a place they could adapt or they perished. So here's the heresy, and it's a rhetorical question because I fight with myself over the answer. Are we doing the right thing when we try and save everything in this world? I'll let you answer that for yourself because I don't have an answer to that. 